AWS Lambda cold starts can be a real pain in the But now there is the ultimate solution, provisioned concurrency. Hi, I'm Rafael, and this is Coder Cave. If you code lambdas, you surely enjoy the benefits of serverless. But while that lambda may seem serverless to you, it is definitely not serverless for AWS. In other words, your code has to run somewhere, which means that an environment needs to be loaded and initialized. And that is our cold start. In this episode, we will explore the hacky way to fix it and the proper solution using provisioned concurrency. And stay tuned till the end because there is a what the moment waiting for you. So let's have a look at our uh, test Lambda. It's nothing special really. It uh, just gets a file from an uh, S3 bucket, uh, computes a SHA-56 for each line in this file and then returns. So let's go ahead and start deploying uh, this, uh, this stack. Now let's go back to our code and have a look at the template file. Um, this code is provisioned with a half gigabyte of uh, RAM, runs on a Python 3.7 framework and has X-ray tracing activated. Now this uh, Lambda is also accessible via API Gateway, but this is not really the point of this uh, exercise. All right, so now that the code, the stack has been deployed, Let's go to AWS console. So we should see our Lambda in here and there it is. So this is our Lambda. Let's hit it with a test payload. Now, uh, it doesn't really matter what's in this payload because um, we are not using any parameter. So let's just run the Lambda and then once it run, let's have a look at X-Ray. So the successful execution is done. Let's go into X-Ray and look at the one trace that we expect. So here is our one trace. So if we open this, we see that one of the steps is initialization. So as you can see, nearly 300 milliseconds of the execution time have been spent in initialization. Now, if our goal is to keep this Lambda warm, we can try one hacky solution. So let's get back to our code. So in the template, I'm going to define, define a new Lambda. So I will get this old thing, copy paste to avoid making stupid mistakes here. I will call this Lambda a warmup. Uh, the, this is going still to be a, three, a Python 3.7. The handler will be called warmup. And here I only need 128 megabytes uh, of uh, memory. Uh, this code is only going to kick off the other Lambda. Now, uh, if I want to keep that uh, demo service uh, Lambda warm, I will want to hit it every, let's say, 10 minutes. So to do that, I will create an event. And the event will be, I don't know, warm up that Lambda. And uh, the type is going to be schedule. And I will want this thing to fire every 10 minutes. So what this is going to do, um, this is going to start this one Lambda every 10 minutes. And this Lambda can fire off, uh, fire the other Lambda. Now, uh, we need uh, there is one one detail that uh, we need to take care of and I have a snippet for this and this is the policy that allows this lambda to call the other lambda so I will type it in here I already have it ready so this uh, this allows the warm-up lambda to start um, the demo service uh, function all right so there is one last thing we need here. It's an environment variable that tells us the ARN of the demo Lambda. So an environment variables. And I'll call this target function. So 
So th what this is going to do, this is going to add an environment variable in the execution environment of the Lambda so we can use it uh, in our warm-up function. So let's go to the code we have here. So because we are going to access an environment variable, I will want to import um, OS. Actually, I don't need to import it all OS. Uh, we can say from OS uh, import get env. So this is the function that uh, lets us uh, get an environment variable. So let's create our handler. Fine, we called it warm up. And uh, what we are going to do here is uh, first of all, create a client. So that's about a three client uh, for Lambda execution. And then the client will have to invoke and, uh, and for this I have a snippet already prepared for you. So what this is going to do is going to uh, invoke the Lambda. It needs the function name and the function name is taken by uh, from the environment variable target function. Target function was defined here. So in this step, we have the ARN of our demo uh, function. Um, no payload. Uh, the payload needs to be um, encoded. All right. So here we have our Lambda and we can go ahead and redeploy our stack. So All right, there is a typo in uh, in the template. So let's go back to the template. Let's correct that. And uh, and let's try again the deployment. All right, now our stack has been updated. Let's have a look at the lambdas. Now we will have two lambdas in our console. So there we go. We have two lambdas. We have the warm up and the demo service. Now, because we set the event to fire every 10 minutes, the Lambda will fire 10 minutes after it was deployed. So that's a pretty long wait. So let's trigger it by launching a test again. So what this is supposed to do, it's going to call the other Lambda. So let's just test it and we are done. So now let's go back to our demo service and let's go into the tracing. So the, this is the latest invocation. We go in and here is our initialization again. Now this was shorter, 255. Earlier we had almost 300 milliseconds. Now if I go back to my Lambda over here, the demo service, I can test it again. And uh, once I'm done, I will go back into the traces. I will update it. And I will have one more execution 10 seconds ago. If I go into this execution, there is no initialization because the, inex the execution has already been uh, performed. The initialization was already done. So there is no cold start. All right, this will work, but it sucks. It sucks on two different levels. So on the first level, there is code that is there only to make that other Lambda slightly faster. On the other level, we don't have much control over scalability. So if we want to spin, let's say 10 other executions, we will have to multi-thread the execution of lambdas in the warm up. Also, there will be a suboptimal amount of calls to the demo service. Our warm up lambda will run every 10 minutes and uh, it may try to warm up executions even if it's not totally needed. Okay, let's implement the proper solution. So First step, let's throw away all this unnecessary code. Let's grab the configuration and throw it in the bin. Okay, this is done. Now let's go to the actual Python code. Let's throw this away. And I guess also this reference is not needed anymore, this import. All right. Now, 
to use the provisioned concurrency we will need to add just a few properties to our lambda so we go back into the properties and we will add the auto publish alias and we'll call it live i will clarify uh, what this is for later the other one will be provisioned concurrency configuration and we will give it as you guessed it i have a snippet for that we'll give it a value of one which means there will be one execution worm for us all right now this is all we need to have the con the um, provisioned concurrency so let's deploy our code again all right the stack has been updated so now we can go back to the console and we can see that there is only one lambda right now and it's a, it's our demo service the warm-up function has been erased now let's hit it we have our test so let's test it and then we go into x-ray to see what happened to the the cold start so execution successful let's move to x-ray and which is which one is our execution this one is our execution and oh what the f what the f wasn't this supposed to be initialized well actually here's here's the what the f moment i promised at the beginning this happens because we hit the latest version of this uh, lambda what we need to hit is the lambda with the alias for which we defined the provisioned concurrency so if we hit this one and we test and then we go into x-ray all right so here's our execution trace and we do see an initialization over here but look at the diagram this is this looks really weird you see the initialization block is over here and then there is absolutely nothing for minutes so what does this mean well this is our provision concurrency that initializes the, the execution and then keeps it warm and when we hit it we have our actual uh, invocation here now this is happening only for the trace of the for first call for some reason so if we go back to our lambda and we hit live again with the test and we go back into x-ray and we reload this trace here hasn't responded yet okay now it's done this one will not show the initialization as expected be aware that provisioned concurrency comes at a cost so now you have it the ultimate solution to aws lambda cold start now go to github.com slash coder cave and fork the repos or issue pull requests. Subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what's your experience with AWS Lambda cold starts.